Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody, to the Fisher Universe Episode 3. We are getting ready to jump into our final series of the evening, which, of course, is going to be Bedboom taking on Tundra, even when he doesn't have to lose. Top lane, they've gotten on top of 9 class. He's trying to run through his Bramble, but he cannot make it away. And First Blood will go to Toronto, Tokyo. That's what I'm looking to see, like, who's going to start rotating first. Both of them getting pretty close to... Uh, six. Actually, top is one close. Zero bottom lane. Burl strikes over, gets the Naga Siren, but White Mon actually burns him down Venom. with the Orb of Venom. He doesn't actually have Ensnare, though, but just walking in and deluging will be enough slow. And actually, now nine classes here, too. GPK does the. Oh, the hook Someone's blocked by the creep again. And GPK, big Wrath of Nature coming through. Inkswell as well from save. Thompson really wants GPK, but he's not going to get him. Instead, we'll turn his attention on over to the Grimstroke. A disruption comes out as well. Does he get a hook even? No. Beautiful plays from Betboom here. Shadow Demon trying to steal the rune. Uh, Shadow Realm, Quick who gets more. it? Oh, Toronto Tokyo gets it. He does not have a TP, round, actually. Yeah. Yeah, no TP, but doesn't need it. He might just finish the kill. It's the top lane. And it will take down the Sven. So, Toronto Tokyo, a pretty big winner. I mean, once he has that Morbid Mask, he's not really worried about trading his health. Ooh, Raimon finds Toronto Tokyo. Dude, it is way. <laughs> so much damage. He oh tries to get the. One of these hooks is going to hit from Thompson. I don't think he's hit a hook yet, but at some point, it will connect. Just gonna, gonna here. walk at him under the tower. The deluge slow will set up enough. All right, there you go. Who needs hook? Last rotations. He's gonna cut through the tree. In comes the Sven. Nice storm hammer. Ink swell though. Not gonna connect. Get the silence. Can he actually make it out of this? This nature's prophet doing a lot of damage, but another silence soon. White Mon just walks in and slows them, sacrificing what himself for tangent? this. He actually gets out. Teleport in the bottom lane. Last second, Infernal Blade into the Doom. Pretty oh, dead. That feels very good. good. Yeah. GPK's got his Maelstrom. And with this, like, he's farming exceptionally well. It's it's expected, right? Nature's Prophet into a Pudge mid. He shouldn't really struggle that much to find net worth. It's mostly surprising to me that Thompson has found as much net worth as he has. Bottom lane, big epicenter, and the ult from the Nature's Prophet to secure the kill, of course. Not to steal it. Mid lane, blink reveal from Thompson into the pullback. He's gonna respawn right in a Bramble though, and they've got everything here. Miro has to be a little bit careful, but a really nice soul bind onto two. Pure trying to finish off Toronto. Tokyo will be able to do so. And now Pure has the Sanki. He might have another stun in a moment. Wait for him in. Does he have the damage? The hook this time. Finally, Thompson, Thompson gets one. Really want the Shadow Demon. Does he get in a range for the ensnare here? Nah, it doesn't look like it. I mean, they're smoking. Okay. Smoking on over. Oh, the blink in. The ink swell. They've got them, themselves on the server. He's got himself a shield rune and a stick, but he does not pop either of them. He's going to go down as they find nine class as well. GPK here on the Nature's Prophet doing plenty of damage. They have the chase continuing thanks to Miro. Those are three massive kills going the way of Bed Boom as well. Sven walks into the wrong neighborhood, gets doomed up, and Pure gets the credit instead. So, depending how the opponent scattered, thinking like, oh, kill, 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 kill. like maybe you can get a big kill. Doom going down again in the top lane. Almost got his mech. He's pretty close. And that's pretty standard for the Naga Sirens. Like, she doesn't really need to build anything. Oh, he gets the hook! Pulls in the Sven. The Terrorize is going to come through. The big dismember, the stolen Burl Strike. But there's the save from Toronto, Tokyo. And Sven gets his revenge. Quickly takes down the Pudge. The Song of the Siren just not fast enough. And he wants to keep chasing. The question is, Willie, there's got to be a blink up on Miro in just a moment. The Ink Swell is out. The blink, the Burl Strike's got him. Two kills for Bet Boom. Rams is just sitting on like almost 3,000 gold and he's about to uh, be sent right back to the fountain. He quickly buys his BKB components. He's like, oh, 
All right, they're going for the wraparound still. Morphling. Another smoke coming out from Bedboom. The wards dropped onto the high ground. They actually, they see this. Topsy goes in, gets the Shadow Demon on the dismember, but he's just so tanky. Gets saved immediately by the pipe, and Thompson will pull him back in. Oh, he's trapped in the trees. Disruption will buy some space. There's the Doom. It caught the spin, but the cleave! The Shadow Demon, it was all a bait. They take down two cores, and now Pure goes in, and he's gonna join them. Bursted down by the side of Bed Boom. A three for one. I don't even know when Disseminate came out. It didn't look like he actually did that much damage that fight, but... That was not at all what Tundra thought was gonna happen when they jumped the Shadow Demon. I thought that was like one of the best targets they could find, but yeah. they couldn't even kill them. Well, speaking of targeting in the bottom lane, a GPK maybe came a little bit too far forward for this one, trying to die at the Dark Willow. Is the soul bind? It's this disseminate. It actually is yeah, disseminate. Okay. I guess it doesn't count the uh, the amount of health you just lose right off the bat, right? Like the percent health you drop. That was so good. Oh, oh. Pops is down another target. This one, the Grimstroke, that's a great start, but Saika does get the uh, God Strength off. We'll walk away for now. We'll get pulled back in by the stun. Pure gets him as well. The BKB out from Ramsey as Miro doesn't connect the hook off the mark as well, but he jumps in anyway. BKB out trying to bring down Miro, but a huge amount of damage coming in from the Sven still, and Miro's gonna live. TP back in from GPK doing work. Gets the Sprout on to wipe on as he's on his way to try and run, but Another good fight here from Bet Boom as they've still got gas left in the tank if they can find their opening. That's true, considering that you have the global map efficiency of a Nature's Prophet. Pops in. Gonna get found in the mid lane. Do they have a way to save him? Absolutely not. One tapped. Wait for the soul mine before you go in. But because you have so many good combos, anyone can initiate, and you don't care that it's like wasted or it gives no value. Whatever. Well, they're gonna lose the Dark Willow, but you at least trade this time for this Doom on Rimstroke. Doom on Tamiro, this should be a pretty easy kill. The real incoming is pure. Looking for GPK now, and you cannot escape the Morphling as a zero. Might get away, all the dust barely clips him from White Mon. Great disruption. Does GPK live? He's gonna lose the Aegis. Picking down, they finally get him, and he is stuck inside some brambles. He has a BKB when he respawns. Could TP out, but Thompson's here on the punch. Goes for the dismember. A great two-hero soul bind, though. You gotta be careful. A lot of damage still coming in from this fan, but Pierce gonna survive it. And GPK, he's down. Pure gets a kill, and on the other side of the fight, White Mons managed to find both. Saika in trouble, just burning down to this Thompson Pudge as Toronto Tokyo will TP to safety, but they get all three cores. So Sven tries to go in off of that, but didn't have God Strength, didn't have a lot of combos. Then he tries to run into that song. He's so tanky here on the Morphling. Pure does not do a lot of damage at the moment, but some help of his allies. Maybe you can finish it off. Big terrorize coming is actually out. five years long. With the yeah. Range. I mean, he's still going. The Pearl Strike continuing as he can't get away from the Sandstorm. And Pure, the wave form up on the high ground down to 50 HP, but is gonna live. White on continuing to hold Miro back. And Ramsey's will BKB to finish off that Grimstroke, but... Hero's not done. He's managed to take down both supports. Ramsey's down to zero HP. Topsick goes in. Blink dismember. Pure comes in as well. The burrow strike is available. He goes to the low ground. Disruption is out. The hook. Excuse me. Biggest hook in the <laughs> so, world. That was the that was a people wide hook if I've ever seen. They get uh, pure very low. He's gonna do the classic BKB TP, the nightfall, as some would say. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> it's like if he starts hitting on the Furion, it'll be enough. All right, the roar is out. Maybe trying to bait Tundra here. Thompson, he gets the... They've managed to pull back Saika and the Doom. Is he going to commit it? He does. In the backside of the fight, they zone out everyone. <laughs> Tokyo. What a fine. He goes in, tries to save with the disruption, but that is too dead. That is BKB dead as well. GPK trying to TP on out. He will make it. Oh, boy. That is a really good find from Tundra as Miro... <laughs> What a blink. Very nice blink, okay. Song of the Siren though. He actually catches both of them. Really sick play from Lightmon. And 
there's nowhere to go here on Miro. He's gonna burrow strike in, try to do what damage he can, but another dismember. They get the kill. Double for Thompson on the Pudge. All set up on the back of that first hook. Beautifully set, beautifully found. Uncontestable. Toronto Tokyo goes in for the initial stun. They got the follow up, but can they actually bring down Pure? The chain stuns, they've done it. Okay. He's gonna have BKB and Satanic left. Ramses just jumps in, hits the Doom onto the Sand King, and oh my gosh, a count, a second Doom! They actually managed to find the Sven! He's gonna be able to finish him off, but the Song of the Siren here potentially to reset the just jump in the Burrow Strike stolen from Pure. He's gonna burn down both of them. The buybacks available, tops with a really nice dismember finding GPK. But Pure continue chase just two taps the Grimstroke. Leashed by the Sprout. He's leashed by the Sprout. You're right, Pure pops a Satanic waveform back to the other way. A triple kill for him. Four dead as really? the GG's are gonna come through, and that is it. Tundra take game number one of a 24 pick mid punch. You love to see it. <laughs> you do a good chunk of damage, but you can't actually finish a kill if Psycho starts walking strength. And I mean, he's a very high level player, right? I'm sure he'll be able to do that. So, boy, here we go again. The Edict doing a lot of work. Like you said, tanking between multiple heroes is fantastic. The Gorgon's Grab! Makes a huge difference there, I'm sure, as it doesn't even connect. No coil, though, actually. It's just, I mean, it might be enough damage. Toronto Tokyo's already popped the heal, and oh boy, is it enough damage? It's a lot of burst. Save, gonna try and run away here. Nine Class might still have the Edict, but he's gonna TP out. Does at least prevent this puck from probably dying at all. Uh, here comes the Edict. Nice Gorgon's Grasp again. Mentioned to dodge out some of the damage, but he's just walking into the Enchantress, and GPK just TPs in with ease. A uh, big punish as they try to dive the tower here. Wisdom Rune's about to spawn, and they just brought some extra heroes, so he's gonna get it. Too fast on the Disco Pony, and Toronto Tokyo has to get away from this Edict damage. It's gonna get soaked mostly by the Centaur. That's one of the things we talked about. Nice silence into the split earth. They even commit the coil, a little unnecessary, but the Gorgon's Grasp sets up a kill for GPK now. Oh, nice. Aether Remnant. And that's an amplified damage. Topson is just dead. Really sick play from GPK. And, and part of this just comes down to the attention onto the power runes. Like, they just were not expecting, you know, the amplified damage, but you kind of got to play around those eight minute runes. He's not an extra one available anyway, so GPK not even worried as they force the TP from the Mars. 10 minute power runes coming. Another Corrigan's Grasp. It's going to be bottom, but that is just another kill for this Void Spirit. He's low mana. They're going to see him. The spear, it connects just barely on the edge. And with the coil to follow it up, really nicely done. They will take down GPK and. Topson's invis with a Witchblade. So this is very big. If they can actually get the Doom, it would be perfect, but we'll see if Thompson manages. He's gonna actually walk right into a sentry. The Doom comes out. Oh no. That is the worst case scenario for Tundra. They will get the tower, but you lose the puck. They want some revenge. Scan comes out. Morphling, the spear into the arena. Do they have the damage? He's got the morph going. And he just gets actually sent a massive Lotus as well. So Morphling lives. In comes GPK. Now looking to finish off Ramses. The spear will send him back through the way. But he is going to walk into the hands of the Medusa well as now. There's nowhere to go. A very good series of events for Bet Boom. Otherwise, you'd be able to like BKB and stuff, you know. Uh, Thompson looking for a little bit of a pickoff here onto the Medusa. She still has the ult, but the Orchid comes through. Big Organs Grasp holding him back, but yeah, Pierre's got plenty of damage with those Spiderlings. And they actually find Toronto Tokyo as well. Great spear back. Both supports dead as they turn their attention to the mid tier one tower. Those are a really good set of kills for the side of Tundra now. Oh, As they get the, the spear back, long. this time onto the morph. Again, he gets the morph off with the silence from the orchid. He's gonna die here. The soul burn will be enough damage. I 
Inky Ping's a ward there. He's suspicious of how he got caught. They're, They're not dead. done. They're actually just rotating one to the next. Yeah, you get the Doom off onto the Lesh, but Ramses, man, the rotations just getting them right back into this game. Difficult chase there into the ice pad. That's a double astral step. GPK needs to be a little bit careful. Thompson does have a haste rune. There's going to be the blank, the spear, the coil coming out as well, but he's sustaining through a lot of this. There's the arena, and GPK is kind of stuck for the moment. The silence into the split earth. Pierce got an orchid to follow it up, and they do. A one for one trade. Very happy if you're Tundra looking for more, and they find Toronto Tokyo. No chance of escape. Pure's Broodmother is getting very scary. He that much bull? I guess they have no armor. Yeah, they find nine class. Your puck close enough as well. I'm surprised nine class is just putting his body here to try and pop the smoke, and he does, but he's in trouble. He's a big part of your fight. He's gone to start this one off, and Thompson. He get caught by the Atos, able to jaunt away, and like you said, he does buy him back TP to the tier two, but that Roche, it's at about a third HP. They didn't manage to finish it off. And more Broodmother webs come out as uh, Morphling gonna so role play himself. Here. I mean, Roche is moving top in seven seconds to jump in, the coil onto four, oh onto five! The, the arena just holds everybody in place! They call the bluff. You cannot get to the dire side of the map. They said Miro will go down with the Enchantress. Psycho trying to run away. GPK will TP. Save. Not going to be as lucky. How did they know? It does help. It prevents someone like uh, the Morphling and the Void person from using their mobility to get out of the arena. So I guess I, I mean, they can use it. But it is kind of funny to not be able to break coil because they just bounce on the arena. Oh, that's a dieback on nine class. He's like, guys, they might have a ward over here. All right, good pick up for Bed Boom to get something out of that because that last exchange is not good. They're gonna lose their Enchantress here. I'm trying to hold the Orchid. Should have enough damage just from pure. As he hits level 18. And a Scythe of Ice will be coming out from the Mars here in just a matter of time. And this is, I think, my favorite Mars build. Ooh, Thompson in a rough spot. Does he have ways to get out? A solo kill onto Doom? Yeah, it was. Uh, he has a blank. No TP for 10 seconds. They don't know this. Oh my god. No way he actually gets out, right? He actually might. He's try. Uh, oh, he has no mana. He has no mana at all. Oh, they just missed him around the trees. They both got hit by the same tree pathing there. So pure protected by the split earth spam from nine class, but also just the solar crest spam that's coming through. You have great follow up if they try to initiate. You got 50 seconds left on the Aegis. That is a full lane of barracks down. Make a sneaky play through the lane they already took. I mean, they're still smoked on several other heroes, and Thompson comes in, gets the coil, the big one. It's onto the Void Spirit, the arena, the spear comes down. Can they chase on him long enough? It looks like they got him just barely. The Aegis expiring in one second. Is Nine Class going to get caught from the Glimmer Cave? Walk on back. BKB comes out from Saika as he will be able to finish the job. Turn himself into the puck as well. Pure. Obviously doesn't get any of the regen from that Aegis thanks to the Doom, but maybe a little bit afraid to continue chasing here. Dual Breath back the other way. Ramsey's and Pure, they're gonna rejoin the fray. They get the Scythe out on over to Toronto, Tokyo, and they cannot escape on this Medusa. They will both fall as Tundra turning their attention back to the high ground. Very different if he's alive. I'm not sure there is much. Oh, the Manta Dodge, the Scythe, it just catches the Doom. He's held, he's held back, taking so much damage, but they jump in. They get on top of Fury. He's trying his best to lifesteal through this. Can he do it? The high five, baby. You got nothing left in the tank. The GG comes out. This Broodmother with the Shard. Once you get that rolling, you can't fight him 1v1.